Today we're going to talk about the top 10 guns in Fortnite plus perks. Hey guys, it's Tic Tac here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the guns. The top 10 best guns in Fortnite as of right now. Some of these are opinion based, most of these are fact based because just some of the guns do not cut it in this game. So we're going to be taking a quick look. We're going to do the top two with some runners up for each category. And we're also going to tell you what perks to look for on each gun depending on where you are in the game and how those perks influence the actual damage these guns are putting out. So if you have one of these guns, level it up, max it out. If you don't, keep buying them llamas. We all pray that this changes soon enough. If you're not sure about a gun and you don't know if you should spend all of your hard-earned XP on leveling it up, hopefully this guide will steer you in the correct direction. Alright guys, we're going to start on assault rifles. And first off, number one, we have the Copper Siegebreaker. This gun is fantastic. It is the best assault rifle in the game, only less to probably the drum roll, and that's only rate of fire differences. The Copper Siegebreaker hits harder than the drum roll, and you can't get the drum roll uh, except for a Founder's Edition. The gun hits really hard, it has decent hip impact, it hits harder than the drum roll, um, it has less bullets, but the bullets do do more damage. I would definitely, if you have this gun in epic or legendary version, no matter the rolls, level it up. It's still a great weapon. But the perks you are looking for are these. Next we have the Death Stalker and the Nightlands. My personal favorite guns in the game, they hit so hard. If you happen to get a good roll, this gun will hit harder than most sniper rifles. Um, it is a hybrid of an assault rifle mixed with a sniper rifle. It shoots three round bursts does incredible amount of damage about 1500 per bullet so you're looking at 4500 damage per per button click it's a very powerful gun it hits very hard at mid-range um, if like I said if you're gonna be a soldier and you want to stay afar this is the gun for you and the reason you want extra headshot damage on this gun and not an elemental change is because once the big guys get close you're not gonna be sniping them anyway uh, you're gonna switch to one of your automatic weapons and try to take them out quickly so the extra headshot damage, because that's what you'll be aiming for, is essential to making this gun as good as it can be. And an honorable mention to the Copper Hunter Killer, uh, you need the right perks on this gun to actually make it perform well, uh, being headshot damage, critical hit damage, and stuff like that. Being a single shot assault rifle, um, you're really looking to increase your headshot damage by a lot. Shotguns are a bit of a personal preference. They each do two different things, um, but I found the long arm enforcer to be the best shotgun in the game. It does amazing at close DPS, multiple target DPS. It is incredibly powerful. The impact is through the roof. It'll knock them down almost every shot. Really good gun. It'll burn through most big guys instantaneously. Uh, it's definitely a gun you want to keep around. The Tiger Jaw is an automatic shotgun. It will burn through your ammo faster than you can say Tiger Jaw. Trust me, this gun will murder anything you put in front of it, but be careful of its ammo consumption. It has less impact, um, a higher fire rate, and a little more DPS just because of how fast it shoots. Incredible gun. Uh, if anything gets close to you, you want to take them out instantaneously. This is the gun for you. Honorable mention to the Maverick and Thunderbolt, they are two shot shotguns that clear out a bunch of little enemies all at one time. Their reticle is enormous, decent guns, but the other ones do more damage. First up, we have the Super Shredder, considered by many to be probably the best gun in the game. It does ridiculous damage up close from afar. You can see on the screen that the range is basically the same as the Nightlands. It does an incredible amount of damage. It is a sniper shotgun hybrid from what the alpha players have told us that every single person in the alpha late game has one of these guns, what no other gun in the game can do. Decent fire rate, tons of damage, decent range, it's a great gun. Copper one shot, whether with a scope or without, is the best traditional sniper rifle in the game. There are a lot to choose from, but they don't do what this does. Uh, the damage this puts out is insane. But one shot most small enemies and lobbers. It does an, an incredible amount of damage. The bullets actually penetrate on this, so if you can line up a couple of small husks, you can kill them all with one shot. And also it uses heavy ammo, one of the few guns to do so, so it can conserve your ammo as well. It's a really good gun, it's really strong, it's really powerful. It is my sixth pick. Honorable mention goes to the Zappertron for the absurd amount of damage it can actually do. Um, 
I've seen 24,000 damage hits on takers. I've seen it one shot laser heads. I've seen it do incredible things. Not the best weapon due to the fire rate, but Jesus Christ, if you get one, look out. That brings us to pistols. Now, me personally, I think the pistols in this game are outclassed in every way, shape, and form by every other gun you can choose in this game. The only way I would think they would work is if you get the Ranger Deadeye, he's an Outlander class, who has a ton of perks that boost pistol damage. But the Monsoon itself is an incredible gun. The rate of fire is through the roof. I mean, look at it. It's a mini gun that's a pistol. Uh, I would pick this gun over many of the other ones that aren't on this list it's really good if you level it up if you get the right perks it can become really powerful and the tiny instrument of death well i'm hearing mixed things on it but like i said i think pistols are very underwhelming in this game i hear it's amazing if you level it up i hear it's terrible regardless uh, it does do a lot of area of effect damage so it's similar to a rocket launcher it can be good in some situations like your storm shield defense and everything's in a death tunnel and you just want to dump out as much damage as you can in a small area this gun can work lastly we have melee uh the husk stomper although can be used by ninjas it is preferred by the constructors who have the perks for bonus damage um, the main thing about this melee weapon is it can stun lock so after one or two hits the enemy becomes stunned and no longer moves and it lasts for about two seconds it does a decent amount of damage not as much as a sword but a decent amount and like i said can stun lock enemies if you have the perks to increase the damage it turns out to be a pretty good weapon i wouldn't really suggest using melee most of the time husk launchers and ninjas and constructors with certain perks can pull it off and lastly we have the husk cleaver i asked a few of my ninja friends not real life but you know ninjas in the game uh what the best sword is and besides the masamune which i'm not putting on this list because you can only get it through a founder's package they all agree that the husk cleaver is the best sword in the game the attack speed is a little lower than the laser sword or the masamune but the raw damage numbers that this weapon puts up are quite high so if you're going to use melee or you decide to, or if you're a ninja or constructor with the right perks, these are the two weapons I would recommend in Fortnite. Those are your top 10 guns for Fortnite, guys. I hope this video was insightful. I hope it helped you out. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so now. It really helps me out. Drop a like. Let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video. I really appreciate everything, guys. Thank you so much. We still have a Discord down in the description below. Uh, there's about 100 members strong. We do trading, playing, uh, SSDs. We do everything, guys. Hit us up. Thank you so much for watching. Tic Tac, out!